a little late. But you know what they say, better something than puzzles. All right, so tonight we are playing some more of The Fool and His Money. Visit website for hints and answers. 2012 by Cliff Johnson. Uh, currently, 57 bewitchments remain, and the moon's map is modeled. I haven't checked the moon's map in a minute. We should give the moon's map a little look. Oh, look at that moon's map. I'm a, I am going to go out on a limb and say that I don't think the... I, I really like the art on the original On the Sun's map, so I'm not as wild about the look of the moon's map. But... Oh, yeah. This track. This is my jam. When I'm solving puzzles, it makes me feel like a very dramatic anime hero. Solving puzzles. I'm sure that that's an anime, right? Like, anime crossword puzzle solvers? Very exciting. <laughs> that's, boy, the first word I read from the game tonight, and it's cowtuber. <laughs> Cowtuber, Glutmeg, and Spoon Tongue picked fresh this morning, a woman hawked. What are the advantages and disadvantages? The fool wanted to know. Cowtuber heals lactose intolerance, but promotes constipation, she began. Oh, it's this puzzle a second time. Interesting. Okay, spell 23 letter words, and this time we're working with E H M N O W. So. In, oh, now? Nope, none of those. Keep going till we get one. Okay, so that kind of spindly one is the O. Uh, yeah, Vin, I only do those streams, uh, I don't know, I like doing uh, Returnal with John around to, to keep me from getting too sad uh, about how bad I am. Uh, and John can't be on on Sunday nights. So, I will the aardvark. Uh, okay, so... Hem. E. Okay, so the round top thing is E. That one's O. And this is... Let's try wow. Nope. Because that one's O. So this, this one starts with O. Maybe one is in in the list. It is, so let's try in. Nope, we'll figure it out. Okay, so that's something E something. Uh, oh, crap, I just reset the whole thing. Dumb, George Michael Dumb. Okay, let's try him again. So if I get the E, I get the E, you know. Uh, let's see, this one's a double letter to end uh and then again it's e h m n o w so moo yes oh my god okay so spiny so that's o hi apricot o let's try one nope okay so that's the o I know what Moo is, but crap, I forgot the letters. Oh, that's H and E. So brain is H and crown is E. So this is... Okay. Uh, I mean, Gary loves the Twisler so much. It's, his, it's really his favorite. Uh, there we go. So N is the triple. O is this kind of like maple leaf one. Uh, was that? Okay, so M is not that, but Spikey's is W, so that's something E, so that's new. Okay, E, no. Uh, so that's E, the crowns are E. I'm having, my memory is just the worst lately, so uh, let's see, you are... Two of the same letter with O in the middle, so wow, maybe? No. That's the brain. Is that the W, W, E? No. Is it M, M, 
This is a really bad one for my Mio. Okay, that's so. Venus flytrap is like M. I gotta take pictures. I gotta take pictures because like my my memory is like in really bad shape lately. Um, just stress and losing it. Okay, so let's. This is Eon, I think. Nope. So O is that one. Okay. He is the crown one. Puzzles. Spikey's is W. That one's M. So that's M E W. That's E. That's, that was O. That was O. So M. O W. Okay. That's E O N for Eon. That's O W N for Own. That's W O E is Whoa. Whoa. Uh, what, are the, what's, what, what letter am I not using? Is it H? Is the one I haven't used, I think? Yeah, so that's H E N. That's hen. And that's hem. And that's H O W. How? Kind of broke out. That's that's you. Me? What? There's a TV show called You. M. Oh, oh it's Mom. And then H E W I hew to the rules of this puzzle, and then H O E, <laughs> and then M. Is that M E N? It's M E N. It's men, and then that's now, and that's oh, it's. Wee! He's a wee lad. And that's... who? This is good streaming. This is good content. I, I bring the good content to y'all. Where I uh, solve extremely simple word puzzles with a weird complication added to them. Oh, I get to do it again with a different set of letters. No, okay, I don't have to. Thank God. Irk. Glutmeg loosens the bowels, but causes dry mouth and swollen saliva glands. Spoon tongue is ideal for oral health and hygiene, but creates an allergy to dairy products. If you only buy one, you'll wish you'd bought all three. I see your point, he said, while well, he spelled out 20 words from a trio of bewitched herbs. The woman tipped her basket, and cons a considerable amount of gold coins spilled to the ground. That's an awful lot of weight to carry on your head. Are you taking herbs for neck and back pain? Poppy Mary, she sighed. But that's to keep the cholesterol in check, and it begets sev severe butt rump. I can no longer sit on a stool or in a chair, so I either stand or I lay on my bed face down. Weird. But I don't carry my gold coins, she added. They just appear when I need them, much like yours. Disappear. From the stampede of poultry at her feet, a goose honked. DeMason exercised his demon. This game is... makes very little sense sometimes. But we did... I did get to say butt rump. Butt rump. Butt rump! Okay. So this is one of these auction ones i always say never sniffed the socialite i bless the curse coughed a large man with a large feather in his cap lofty thoughts lead to lowly desires sneezed the baker holding an umbrella the fool assessed the crowd the top hat would be trouble he'd have to go straight away the baker he bet 
we get the bargain of the day. Okay. Uh, well, that's giving so that's giving me multiple things. First of off, first off, I um, I know the joke, the basic joke here. He said, uh, as though that makes any sense. Uh, the gimmick here is going to be that. Uh, their two words will be, if I do it right, their two words will be opposites of each other. Um, and then I, whatever it is, the first person I need to sell to is this dude with the top hat. So he's showing B-E-V-A. Uh, if I throw O out, that gives him above and... No. Uh, oh, okay, so I sell him an O and a B and he'll have above and below. So let's let's do that. Oh, it's once they once everybody sells two. Once they Okay, so he'll buy this and then I'll sell the B and he'll buy that. Okay, so we've gotten rid of him. He bought two he bought two letters in a row, so above and below. So far, uh, so good. Yeah, nicely done, Kofned. Okay, and then we know that the baker needs to go last, but for now, um, so that's sold, right? I've successfully sold. Okay, he'll, this guy will fuck off. Okay, uh, yeah, black and white. So let's, yeah, uh, except I did, okay, I have another B I can sell. So let's, let's just take him in order for now. Oh, but uh, this guy took it, so I've got a. So it's not that one. So let's look at these. Uh... So this third guy, under and overs. I don't know. And then, how about this lady? Short and. Night, ah, it's as simple as night and down. Uh, thief and what, Bill? Because all of the the words anybody picks up are going to be um, they're going to be antonyms of each other. Uh, light and brown. Ah, the classic the classic difference between light and brown. Uh. Right and wrong. Right and wrong. Uh, the the stuff will... Uh, new letters will cycle through as we go, I think. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so I don't have an R to sell right now. Do I have a G? I do have a G to sell. Let's see if she'll buy that. Or do she only take... Nope, she will not buy it. Okay. Uh, do I have a W? Let's see. If I try to sell a W, will she take it for white? Nope, that guy will take it and then wager, and that's not anything. Okay. So, we just have to figure out what words, like, what are the word pairs we gotta get. I'm pretty sure about right and wrong for this lady on the right. Um, what about this third guy? E-O-R-S. Um, And DNRU. DNRU, like, feels like it should be under, but then I don't know what. Hmm. Drunk, drunk and sober. Drunk and sober. But if I sell the B, someone barges in and takes it. Some dickhead who buys it for lambs, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to sell him another word. Okay. Uh, so how about this fourth lady? Uh, T-R-O-H and S-T-H-O. Um, Thorn and Ghost. That classic pairing. 
Um, my son's name is also Behort. I don't have an S to sell, so even if it is short. North and South. Thank you, Bill. It'd be cool if my brain worked. Okay, no, but this, if I try to sell that one, this dick takes it. So, uh, S, O, so let's try selling the U. Nope, although that's actually a good one. I do want her to take that because that's going to be inner and outer. So I'll sell that one. Okay, let's try selling the in and see if she takes it. She won't. So we've got to kind of sell them kind of. So I just sold her a U. Can I have another U to sell? No. So what if I try to sell the W right now? Nope. Twain and... Okay. Uh, I mean, this guy just wants L's. Let's see if let's sell these L's and see if Mr. Small and Large over here will take them. No, probably don't want it to be lions and something ions. Okay. This is tricky. What if I toss out a Y? Crowds, crowds already down on Ys. It, Okay, so let's see what she gets, what what they get. Okay, no, that's okay. He can take that, because then he'll take uh, he'll take a C. If I toss out the C, let's see if he gets it. He doesn't, and Antic doesn't really work with anything, so let's pull. Uh, okay. Could it be great instead of large? It's possible. Uh, I'm going to... Toss out another L though, and see if uh, oh that person's not even in uh, in this auction. So no. Uh, okay, let's try throwing out that K now. Will he get with this? There we go. Drunk, and then tossing out a B. Who gets it for B? Okay, she gets the B now. Let's toss out a W and see if she gets white from that. Uh, Wealthy Aardvark, you are absolutely okay to say any pairs that you see. The, my, my, only, my only thing is nothing from – it just has to come from playing along. Just nothing from outside, no walkthroughs, no Googling, anything like that. That's, that's what I would ask. Yeah, it was black-white. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's try uh, – let's see if I can get north and south out now. Nope. Uh, and no, it's not black and thine, lady. Come on. Let's see. This is the this is the lady who is trying to do lions. Uh, Sonic and sweet. That's all that the Phantom asked of us. What's this one? Uh, e i t u and i n o s. Uh, Noisy and quiet. Okay, let's try selling the queue and see if she buys it. She does. And then let's sell the Y and see if she gets her hands on that. Or if the other guy... Nope, okay, she's done. Uh, Alright, let's try selling that B again and see if I can get it to one of the two people. No, we're not going to do lambs. Lambs is not what we do. Okay, so now I can't see everybody, which is annoying. But let's toss out an in and see if it forms up a proper pair. Sell the L, uh, Ben is saying? Okay. Who gets what with the L? Uh, okay, small and large is going to go. And then sell out. Let's see if he'll get the... There we go. So Mr. Small and Large is gone. Uh, okay, so North and, let's see if, if Ms. North and South can now get her hands on. I don't think she is. Oh, but that's inner and outer, so that's great. That's fine. Let's sell the other end to, nope. Who's, Black and Thine, no. I, I don't know what this guy's do, this, this dude's, for all I know, it could be Twain. 
but uh, let's see if I can get that right and wrong out now. Nope. Train and... Ah, uh, train and wharf, of course. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Let's try selling the sea again and see if I can get clean and dirty to go. No. Arctic and... Ant Antic and... Man, all those guys' words are obscure. Who shows up for a G? No, you're not Ghost and Hort. The the cla the Civil War fought, of course, between the Ghost and the Hort. No, Black and Dine, not what I want. Who's taking this U at this point? There we go. There we go. Hort and South. I'm trying to get 3 million wands. I think I just have to do this perfectly to, to do it anyway, so. No. I got it. That's the one guy I haven't cracked is Twain or Train or whatever the hell his name is. If it is Train. What would the other word be? Um... Dirty clean, yeah, dirty clean. The only I, I and and she's right and wrong. This is the guy I haven't cracked. Uh, hi puppy, that's not my name. Uh, train and F R A W W R A F. Uh, huh. Is it, it's not it's not wharf because I don't have an H to play with. Uh, all right, who's taking the D if I sell a D right now? Nobody who I want to take it. No, not laden and dirty, bud. And who takes the W right now? Twain and what's the opposite of Twain? Twain means, uh, this is me quietly Googling. The quiet Googler. Split. So split. Is there something that would bring them together? Twain means two. Wax and Twain. Probably not wax and Twain. They're all five letter words. And also Mark. Uh... Hmm. Who takes the in if I sell it right now? Thine lady does. Choo choo twain. Yeah, that's definitely English. Okay, okay, no, he takes that. Okay, so he's clear. Sober and drunk. Join would be opposite, but uh, obviously it's, I, but I'm trying to figure out that's the right number of letters and not the letters that he has. Uh, all right, let's see if I can get north and south out now. No, thine is gonna take it. Nanny, not, nanny thine. But if I sell the W, that's gonna go into Twain. So of these five, these six letters I have left, uh, what, I, I don't even know what word I could give him. What letter I would give him that he would take. Uh, F-R-A-W. There's no vowels to use, for one thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I still don't know. Okay. Who takes the G? 
giant and giant and what would the other one there then be? Um, Cause that at least is like an adjective that makes sense. Uh, also, I don't have anyone else to give. Dwarf, thank you, Vin. So you get it? No, uh, not laden and dirty. So let's do, let's try to get clean out of here now. Yeah, Max Twain, my favorite uh, action game. Okay, so he gets out of the way and now we can now sell Dwarf to him. Uh, and then he's going to stop trying to take my W so I can sell this woman a W for white. Uh, and then maybe I can get this woman to take... Oh, okay, so we don't do that one yet. Uh, G. Okay, no, she needs both. Okay, so she's the last one. She'll need both of them, but this lady will take it for north and south. And then the last lady, who's apparently the baker, gets right and wrong, and I failed. Almost there. I failed. What the fuck? Was it just order stuff? I must have just screwed up order stuff? But I got everybody. Okay. The target is 3 million wands. Yes. Press the enter key to toggle between characters. This fact brought to you by the West Wing. All right. Let's, uh, let's reset and see if it's... All of these antonym pairs make sense to me. Uh, maybe I need to sell them in a different order. So the fool straight up says the top hat would be trouble. He'd have to go straight away. So let's try that again. O and then B. He buys above and below. Okay. And then the baker, that was the baker, wasn't it? She's got like her little thing of bread. There goes the baker with her tray like always. Same old bread and rolls to sell. Okay, so I'm just going to try this again. I can hit enter to like, or can I? I? I guess I have to do it at the end. Okay. Once a character buys two letters, that character leaves and will not return. Eliminate a character every two turns until only four letters remain. All final words share a common theme. I mean, yeah. Eliminate the character every two turns. There goes the baker with the tray like always. The same old bread and rolls to sell. Every morning just the same. Every morning that they came. To this poor provincial town. Good morning, bear! No, not lambs and large. So the game suggests that I need to be selling these to the same person each time. So that's the same B. What am I doing? That's going to go right back to Lambsman. I'm done. If I sell the C, that doesn't go to the right person. So if I sell the D right now, that goes to the right person. So let's try selling the G right now and see if... Okay, okay. So that one, so let's let's take as an assumption that when I sell, it needs to, I need to sell two in a row to the same person until I get down to four letters. Okay, so if I sell the U right now, who do I get? Okay, and then can I sell an N to her? No, so that was wrong. Let's try selling the, the B to Sober now. Nope, it's not Brian and Yort. Uh, what was her thing? I got rid of her fast. E N I E I N R and E O. Or that's the inner and outer lady. Oh, did I not already? I guess, right, okay. And then let's try selling, I don't have the Q yet, so I can't deal with quiet and noisy. Unless I sell the Y first. But... Nope. Let's sell the C and see if that goes to clean dirty. Or clams. I'm clams Agar. Good to meet you. Offensive. No, not E2 and Lions. Toyer. I, one who makes toys, presumably. Okay, and then if I try to sell her the U. 
Oh, she buys it. Okay, inner and outer. Okay, she's gone. All right. Uh, all right. So let's. Who takes the K? It's this guy, but I'm getting him out of order. So let's try selling the B first. I mean, maybe there doesn't need to be an order, but. But I think maybe I probably want to try to make there be an order. So let's try. If I try selling the C now. Clams, Clams Ager takes it. If I try selling the W now. Nope. If I try selling the L right now, I probably already tried that, but. Okay, uh, small. And then let's try selling the L again. And large. Okay, there we go. That guy's gone. And that was Clams, and that was Clams Ager, so I can try selling the C now. Clean and simple okay so that guy's gone let's try selling let's get rid of quiet and noisy now okay and now let's see what happens if I go for if I try to sell to sober and drunk okay or black and white let's see if I can get black and white away from her great now let's try sober and drunk. Ooh, that's not great. Okay, so let's let's leave him for last then. Okay, let's try for north and south now. North and south. Okay. Now I'm down to four letters, which is what I was supposed to be down to. Help. Eliminate a character every two turns until only four letters remain. Fine. Uh, so he's drunk and sober, and she... So let's try the G. Uh, no, the, the U, the R first. Well, this isn't going to work. And then he takes that. If I sell the B now, is he just... No, okay, she'll she'll get in on the B. Okay, and then... He takes that, and then the, she's going to take the last two, and I'm going to be way under. I don't know, y'all. Are some of these pairs not correct? I can show them all. Right and wrong, clean and dirty, north and south, small and large, inner, outer, above, below, black, white, sober, drunk, quiet, noisy, dwarf, giant. Those seem right to me. So this lady's the baker. That's right. She's carrying, she is carrying like the bread. So she, so north, south lady is the last one. So let's reset again. So top hat has to go first. So it's just a matter of managing the order. And then north-south has to be the last one. That the baker he bet would get the bargain of the day, which means yes. So north-south is the last one we're going to do. Okay. If I sell B right now, this goes like Lamb's guy, right? Yeah, so let's get rid of him. Lamb's... Just... That's small and large, so if I try selling the L right now... Does that go to? Okay, let's get rid of small and large. Okay. And then now let's try to get rid of the B. That's going to go Brian Lady. Uh, so that's... How much attention does this require? Multitasking. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty focused right now. Uh, okay, so what was her thing she just took a b so she's r-i-n-e and e-o-r-t um well i've inner she's inner and outer so let's let's get her out of the way and outer okay so she's gone okay and i wanted her out of the way so that i could sell the b Black and... Nope. 
Okay, so not not black and white lady yet. Uh, let's try selling to drunken sober now. Oh wait, no, I gotta do the episode note. Not you. So let's try let's try Mr. Clean and Dirty. Let's see what we can get. Uh, okay, let's. What, do I, what happens if I sell the D? It goes to Layden. Okay. And if I sell the C. Annoyingly, those guys are getting each other's way. Uh, the Y has to go to Noisy. G? What's G get me right now? No. Not Hort Ghost. Not Twain. Again, the D goes to him and he goes laden. So I gotta get rid of clean, clean dirty. But they're blocking each other. Maybe I can try to, to, to mix up. Yeah, that's a paradox because they're getting in each other's way. What, what's what's R do? Has Sammy and Cookie? They're fine. Kermit went to the vet today. Train. Don't need train. Am I already screwed? Okay. Okay. But if I try to sell the B, does he take it? No, she takes it. Huh. I feel like I've tried everything at this point. Inner and outer. Just to, just to check up. Yeah, he had a, a UTI. So, giving him a little care. Hmm. Not laden. Try to do black and white, I get blocked. Because someone else takes the W. He takes, that guy takes the W. Whatever, I'm not, I'm tried the W recently. Uh, if I try, throw out the W, that guy takes it. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, this time I'm gonna 409 plus 18 minus two. Puppy, are you trying to be distracting? Is that fun for you? Good for you. I'm gonna just ignore you now. So let's try selling uh, the D now, but that's going to go to Layden Guy. Yeah, amazingly, if you do annoying things, people W annoying and stop paying attention to you. It's weird. Uh, it's this crazy trick the wrong guy figured out. Okay, so he's got the dirty. Let's do the quiet, the quiet and noisy now. And noisy. Okay, that feels like it was less money than I'm supposed to get for that, but. Sober and drunk. Okay, so he's gone. Now can I sell to clean and dirty? No, because this that guy's gonna take it. Like, these guys are in each other's way because they're stealing each other's letters in a way that is, like, weirdly difficult to deal with. All right, he takes that for Layden, which is not right. So let's try Let's get Giant into that guy's hands. No, not Hort Ghost. Let's try that R and see what it gets us right and wrong, lady. Nope. G right now. C, Antic. I've got to get the G sold. But I can't sell the G because Hort Ghost will take it. But I can't. Yeah, this one's screwed. I, I screwed up something here. Not Black and Thine. Who takes the other U? Oh, it's her for North and South. 
Unless this is the baker, but no, that's like a plumber looking dude. He doesn't look like a baker. Maybe he's the baker. Resetting. Above and below. Okay. It'd be great if I could just do them in order, like just the order they came to me. But nope. So let's take small and large out of the equation. Like, puppy, I don't mean any uh, any harm. Uh, it's literally just like, if your goal is to distract or annoy me, my goal is to not be distracted or annoyed. So uh, it doesn't actually pay off for me to uh, play along with that game because the, the game is to make me feel bad. Uh, so find a different game. All right, so small and large is gone. So now I can start selling a B to somebody. No, not Brian. So this is inner and outer lady. So we'll do inner and outer. Get her out of the way. So maybe this guy over on the right is the baker? I feel like the baker should have a, a more bakery hat. The baker, he bet, we get the bargain of the day. Okay, so these are my letters. R gets me what? B gets me that, and then, so no. So it can't be B and then W. So C, who takes the C? No, that guy takes the C if I go with that. D, no, N, it's not gonna be Clank. And that's, I don't like it when they go out of order like that. I could just be wrong and that's what it's supposed to be, but. And he's taking the Y for his dirty. With that, she takes the B, and then if I do the G, we get Hork Ghost. And then W is, we've already seen the problem with W. Okay, so even at, at this point, we've already, I've already somehow fucked up if I'm trying to ensure that everybody takes. So let's try the drunk sober one again and see if it works. It doesn't, okay. So let's not try, let's not, let's hold out on inner outer for now. But if I, if she's in the mix, she'll take the B. He's in the mix, he takes the C. He takes the D. She takes the N, which is what we thought was the right thing to do. With the Y. Yeah, she's like the big money person right now, right? She's winning like every auction that I toss at her. Except of course for Hort Ghost. She says tower. Is there any way that it's tower and something? And no, inner and outer fits so well. So let's... And then again, it says, eliminate a character every two turns. Okay, we're doing that. I will follow the rule that has been... Oh, I actually went backwards. Okay. Small and large. I mean, you can just, like, try to solve the puzzles or chat or anything. Uh... Like, we're just having a good time, or I'm having a good time. I have no idea how many people are even watching right now. Can't imagine that many. I wouldn't. All right, so inner and outer. Uh, fair enough. I mean, why? I don't know why you would listen to this. Like, I'm, I'm not even trying to be self-effacing. Like, you're just hearing me... Uh, it's a weird kind of focus thing where it's... I'm not sure what anybody gets out of any of it, really. It's beautiful in that way. In a way, it's kind of beautiful. 
Puppy summons a demon to Will's house. Oh, jeez. Oh, not like that. Okay. All right. So if I'm just trying to to clear a person every two picks, W gets me. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. So large then inner and outer. It's like having the radio on. If the radio was a man losing his mind solving bad puzzles by Cliff Johnson. Press the tilde key for a random letter. Uh, not being crushingly lonely. That's fair. Okay, so if I do R, R goes to... R goes to the wrong person. B goes to the right person, but I can't sell her the white. So she's not the right person yet. C goes to this asshole who thinks he wants to be antic when he doesn't. But D goes to Mr. Clean Dirty who takes Layden. No, for sure this puzzle is difficult to help with. I'm not denying that. In goes to her, so no. Uh, yeah, society makes everybody lonely. Drunk, and then can I get him to take the B as well, or is that going to go to... No. So, not you. Why? Dirty, and then if I try to sell the C, he gets beat. Yeah, I mean, this is an annoying puzzle, for sure. I am finding it very annoying. No, not Hort Ghost. So, I'm resetting again because I'm trying to. I might I might have to move on from this one. Mr. Top Hat goes first. With above and below. And then the path I've been taking has apparently been the wrong path. Uh so let's try let's try selling L or try selling a U. No, that's not it. Yeah, like it, it was a cool it is a cool puzzle, and then figuring out the order is much less fun. That goes to large small guy, and that's what we've been doing, and it doesn't work. So Except he eats like everything if I don't. What if he's lying about the top hat? That seems unlikely. That seems rough even for even for Cliff. Not Toyer. No, she'll that'll go to that guy. Sir Topham Hat. That's Lambs. Wait, okay. Wait, if I sell the G now, will he take it? Yes, okay, okay, that's the route. Okay. There we go. Get out of here, dwarf giant. Maybe that's the route. Shit. Then I went the wrong way. I went backwards. Okay, so let's... So if I just sell the B now... No. If I sell the C now, oh, now I can sell the C to clean, right? No, because clams will take it. So now let's sell the L's. Wait, L guy dips out of the auction if I do that. Weird. Okay, so let's try the in. Okay, let's sell the inner and outer now. Inner, outer. Cool. Now let's try selling to the L's guy. Small and large. And he's gone. Okay. Where's the R? Who's the R go to now? No, not you. Let's try. Let's see if I can get clean and dirty out of here now. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. Q and Y. All right. Uh, 
let's try getting sober and drunk out of here now. Oh no, it might be black and white out of here now. Black and white goes, and let's try sober and drunk now. No, that's a bad sign when he takes it for free. That means that I should have... I got rid of someone too soon. Okay, so let's try K right now. Nope, okay, so already I've screwed up somehow. So let's go back another, let's take out Quiet and Noisy. And let's try K now. Okay, now Quiet and, if I do it now, Quiet and Noisy will try to take it from me. Okay, so. But then I can't do that. So let's try selling black and white now. And white. Okay, now let's try getting rid of drunk. And sober. Now is Q going to, uh, gonna get? Okay, no, Q's still in the mix, okay. And then drunk and noisy. Nope, that's so that's not right, so I've sent her away too soon. So I've sold the black and white. Let's try getting right and wrong to go now. No, it's not, it's not Hork Short. It's not you. What is a uh, Hell House LLC? I mean, I assume it's found footage core stuff, but. But now that she's gone, I can't sell the K to anybody. Like, these two are in my way, basically, at this point. But maybe if I leave them... For, no, I can't leave them for last. So I've... So let's do this without getting rid of Ms. Black and White. So let's try getting rid of Quiet and Noisy now. And now see if I can sell to sober and drunk. Quiet noisy is last. She's the baker with the umbrella. The baker has an umbrella. Oh my god, Aardvark. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm a dope. Okay. Oh my god. I thought that was a joke someone made. But why would that be a joke? My god. Woof. All right, so we sold clean and dirty. Let's, so let's sell, let's do black and white. And white. And let's do sober and drunk. Okay, and then we just have to make sure not to sell to quiet and, and noisy, the baker. Not that. Uh, so let's let's give her let's let's toss out the stuff for north and south. North and south. Okay, so no, not like oh she must be the other last one or not or should have gotten rid of her already before I got rid of sober and drunk. So let's try north and south. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So not Q and Y, so let's try Sober and Drunk now and see what we get. Okay. And then just G. Wrong order, but whatever. And then right. And then the baker gets the sale of the day. Which is going to be so much less money than I'm supposed to get. I'm so mad. I did this perfect. And it's still not enough, and I don't know what... I don't know what we're getting wrong. The target is 3 million wands. I know the target is 3 million wands. I can back up the last steps, yes. Uh, press the enter key to toggle between... Until you get down to the final four. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, two, three, four. Okay, now we thread them back and forth so that she's not getting the deal she wants immediately. So let's try selling quiet first. So she gets that one, and then we sell the R over here. And then we sell the G, and they both want the G. Yes! Oh my god, Wealthy Aardvark. Thank you. And that's the way we sell all the words. It's tr it is true, the fool noted. Opposites do attract. Where are you hoarding our gold? The large man boomed. I was warned a master of voyage would rob my life savings, and here you stand. Uh, my gold, actually, the fool started. Well, their gold, to be precise. It's complicated. Gold, diamonds, pearls, how could they compare to wordage? The socialite squawked, visibly upset. Wordage and bewitchments, the fool reasoned. They, too, had to be interconnected in some way. From the arms of the Egyptian statue, an asp hissed. Mogate left the team. Yeah, there's just not enough horror in real life, right, Bill? <laughs> hey, it's Snodgrass time. Oh, it's a puzzle. I trust your sketch will help me fix my broken words. Spurgus, the vintage, and praisal, a maiden assumed. I'm not sketching it to untangle it, the artist snipped. I sketch it because I like it the way it is. The fool noted the prince arguing with a lanky fellow, possibly the two of wands. All right. Rearrange the pieces to complete the picture. So, uh, the letter that she's mixing from all those is A, right? So we're presumably going to make an A. And it's one of these ones where i got to move them in twos. It's this puzzle again. Wait, did Cliff Johnson just reinvent the nothing to wordplay bit from Guppy? I mean, I don't know if you can reinvent something that I don't remember having invented, so... The fake horror... Helps me uh, not think about the real horror. It's on Netflix. All right. So it's this fun algorithmic stuff that I love so much. The newest season, only on Shudder. Shudder, the spooky network. Don't get scared or you'll die. I'm I'm not a good marketer for uh, for horror. It seems like to me. That's not right. No, that's not right. That's probably not right either. Oh, good old crony. Oh, doing a heck of a job. Hmm. So these four are right, and that one. So there's a vine going right from there. That didn't work. Did that work? No. Uh. Okay. Which one has the vine kind of going into it with a little bit of blue at the bottom? This one. There we go. And then the vine kind of loops around. The Wheel of Times? Robert Jordan? Say it ain't so. This dark friend is a heartbreaker. I mean, we all love the Wheel of Time. Tug braid, tug braid, tug braid. Did that, does that line up properly? No, that doesn't line up properly. Uh, oh, wow, the computer he wrote the books on. Oh, wait, that, that lines up, though. That, so that's right. So these are going to be the different... Um, 
Ooh, it's coming together right now. Over me. Oh, it's getting to that point where it's close enough that it's going to be very frustrating to finish. It's okay, I've done screwed it all up again. It's actually very hard to move stuff up in this system. Uh, so these on the left actually all look right, correct, except for that stuff up there, obviously, which is all extremely borked, and the top one's borked, and everything's borked. Okay, so let's just get the top row done, and then once the top row's done, I don't mess with stuff, and it's... I can still rearrange stuff slightly below that, so let's just make sure the top row is correct. That looks right. So that's the top row complete. That's what the top row should look like, and now uh, now it's just kind of rearranging from there. So let's see, which one are you? You go there, because you're that part of the A. That's not that part of the A. That's not where that part of the A go. Ah, the joys of puzzle solving. The sheer bliss of cogitation, you know? The life of the mind. It's a, it's a huge relief, you know, to just know that with the pure power of intellect, we can get this amazing image halfway completed just by thinking about it, just by using the beautiful power of the human mind. That big sack of wet gray meat all right the wettest and the grayest meat around right here in my brain metal gear that's wrong Metal Gear. Metal Gear, Metal Gear. Okay, where is the where did the piece that's supposed the piece is supposed to go there? back on the bottom, which is not where you're supposed to be. Who am I supposed to be? Oh, my love, your love will turn me on. So that needs to go there. So that's... Okay, so no, that doesn't go there. Okay, where's this one go? It must go on the right side is the bottom of it. No, that doesn't actually look correct either, huh? Well, what's the most upsetting actual food you eat besides steak tartare? No earwax, toenails, mucus, etc. This was brought on by thinking about the time I had turkey brain head cheese, and it was delicious. Uh, yes, puppy, steak tartare is uh, raw beef. Uh, it is delicious. Solved by column instead of row. That makes sense because of, of the shape of the thing. Um, 
Yes, if you have not enjoyed, it has raw egg yolk often on top and is exquisitely spiced. If you have not supped upon raw beef with stuff in it, you have not experienced the most decadent pleasures that humanity has to offer in the culinary arts. That was a fun character. He's not coming back. He died. He died in between words. Uh, Bill, I don't have a good answer for you. Um, like to my point of, from my point of view, it's the occasional times I eat something with mushrooms in it. Uh, uh, which I find, uh, I find mushrooms utterly vile. So, but I understand that that's not everybody's point of view. All right, so solving it by column. So let's solve it by column. So these are all solved by column, and then over here, uh, it's going to be this guy. And then who's he feed down into? Um, it's one of these. It's going to go down into this guy, I think. So. so let's go ahead and pop you here. Of course, now I've disconnected that whole part of the column. Uh, I, uh, it's the whole concept, uh, Bill. Uh, ooh, caviar. Mm, the good stuff. Mm, yes. You thought I died, this character. But I'm alive, and I'm disgusted. Disgusting. I won't go full hedonism, Will. No one needs to hear that tonight. Unless you do, and then in which case, hit up my OnlyFans. Good. The worst thing I can imagine. You know, claim tennis player uh, John Salmon Row. <laughs> That's a rec that's recognizable as a joke. Yeah, no. Uh, he's so decadent. Okay. And then which one's gonna go below? It's gonna be this guy's gonna go below. No. Uh, there we go. So that one will go there. Uh, wealthy Aardvark, once again, amazing suggestion of uh, working vertically instead of horizontally worked much better. Uh, a mother of pearl spoon to really do it correctly. Mm. I am loyal to the Empress and Emperor, the tall man affirmed with a flourish. But their son, I didn't even know you existed. Which tarot card are you? The prince flinched. Never mind that, he grumbled. In due course, there will be a 23rd card of the higher arcana, and it will rank first above the magician and the high priestess. Technically, the fool is first. He is remembered as card zero. Ridiculous, the slight man scoffed. Who numbers a deck starting with zero? I've done, uh, I've done oyster shots. I didn't enjoy that very much. Well, most scholars agree that the fool marks the beginning of the journey. Then I will put an end to his journey. The prince snorted, grinding his teeth. Then he realized the nearby monogram had lost its bewitchment. He paid no heed to the person on tiptoes. Okay. Are we done? What remains is revealed by the word of Snodgrass. Uh, it's just a spoon made of the material mother of pearl, puppy. Uh, all right, and it's Ingram time. This looks like a new puzzle. Business is slow, asked the fool. A business is inert. Uh, the prince is a villain, yeah, replied the lad minding the shop. Since the onslaught of wordage, people want everything spelled out in letters. Heraldry is considered too symbolic for these literal times. Before I close down the shop, though, I would like to sort out my remaining inventory. Allow me, offered the fool. 
Arrange the heralds so that the total value of the columns reads from 1 to 10. Each column must contain four unique heralds, no duplications. Click a herald, then another. The two heralds will swap positions to swap two columns. Click on the total value below each column. You may press the space bar to undo or shift space to reset. You may press the letter D to check for duplications. Okay. Okay, so I, if I go over them, I can see all the math values. Yokai Customs is... Uh, is a spoon is a big spoon magnate okay so these need to add so this is it's math time everybody no more words math forever how many duplications we got a bunch of duplications rearrange the duplicates so we splurged all right so we got a nine right here Let's go put nine over here, because that's a big number. Oh, and if I go along the bottom, I can see all the values. So I need, so yeah, so we need to create some columns that add up from one to 10. So this one currently adds up to two, but it's got two duplicates in it. So this is going to be ba -da -ba -ba, annoying. Okay. Can't wait for Cliff Johnson to make a line integral puzzle. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm just gonna start moving stuff around, moving stuff around, moving stuff around. Yeah, I ain't never had none of that cave yard, but I bet it's good. I'm a simple boy. I don't eat nothing but charcuterie and steak tartare. Start with the high negatives, pairing them with high positives. Yeah, that might work. So that adds up to 10. So let's, add, let's make one add up to 9. How do you make that S car go? Right, like in a, like in, in, in trading spaces. When they make the joke about the S car go. Do you do y'all remember uh, the, the movie Trading Trading Space Trading Places where where they go I, I got I got the car with the S's on the side and then people go look at that S car go uh, move the ten column to the far right since it already has a target number oh you're right but I then I went and made another ten column so very foolish pound foolish penny penny dreadful. But I bet I can adjust this pretty easy. If I just make this a minus, let's see, where, you got a minus four for me somewhere, game? Yeah, there's a minus four. I don't understand how math works. That needs to be a minus eight. Do I have a minus eight to play with? I think I might not I have an eight. So let's just make this over here a seven plus three plus six plus four. So if I, I want to reduce that by six, so I could pop a one in there to make a six, which is not actually what I was going for, because I'm dumb. So let's make you an eight. There we go. Like, how can you, can you, how can you eat a beautiful koala? Didn't you ever watch the woozles? All it wants is just chew on their eucalyptus leaves and drop on your head and murder you. That's, mm. No, I can't abide that. We all love the woozles. If there's one thing this this stream like yeah, you know, I know we've had some conflict tonight, but I think we can all come together and agree that we all love the woozles. And today's special, where they the the guy had the hat on, and if you took his hat off. Also, apparently koalas have chlamydia because they DTF. See, they didn't cover the, the chlamydia part on the woozles. Okay, so it's it's going from 1 to 10. So we've already got a 3 here. 1, 2, 3. And 
a four. What's a woozle, Bill? I mean, you got a you got a Google machine uh, that you're sitting at right now. Oh, this one can't be this because it's got a duplicate in it. So, is Puppy a liar? Oh my God! I never would have imagined that Puppy could possibly prevaricate or falsehood. So let's turn that minus one into a minus four. Bill, is it possible that you're not cultured? I'm not trying to be mean, but is it possible that uh, you're not cultured the way, uh, you know, a lot of more cultured people might be? Because uh, I think we have all know what caviar and woozles are. Bill, I apologize for bullying you, which doesn't mean I'm going to stop bullying you. Uh, I may or may not have viciously bullied you on Guppy, uh, the Guppy that's about to go up, depending on if you're who I think you are. Um, so that's exciting for all involved. Okay, I've used up all my minus threes. Can I, is there just a button I can hit to make all the values show? Apricot, that's totally fine. Uh, I'm not bullying you. Uh, I'm bullying Bill. I have, what could a woozle be? Uh, if I swap this for a minus one, that'll get me to a four. God, the music's so dramatic right now. There we go. Uh, a Woozle, it's just an animated show. They ran it on Nickelodeon a lot, once upon a time. Uh, okay, if I want to increase the value of this one by minus, so let's. Oh, that was a zero. I'm dumb. Cultured in the Chop Suey and All Star are good, or cultured in the Wings and Gallivant were good way? I mean, that's the thing about Bill. To be cultured, you have to be, um, you know, omnivorous in your in your media appetites. You have to enjoy woozles and gallivant. I could say gallivant on this one. Way back in days of old, there was a hero told legend told about a hero known as gallivant. Tough, plus every other manly value. Mess with him, he disembowel you. Hey. Uh, well, that's because it's probably not called Woozles, Bill. We've probably called it the wrong thing. Uh, what about under the umbrella tree? Let's just let's let's have a nice. Uh, it is. Uh, Bill. Uh, and since you know that, yes. Okay, so I was bullying you. Excellent. Under the umbrella tree. That's where we're gonna do stuff. You know what I mean. Okay, so this one's not working for me. This one's got a zero in it. Now that's a five. I'll just put the five there and it's all fine. Everything's fine. Too much stuff in this column. This is all positive crap. Eureka's Castle, sure. We all love Eureka's Castle. Bill, it's fine. Uh, I just, I immediately knew it was you. I actually enjoyed reading it, but uh, then my audio glitched out, so uh, instead I cut it and put in a mean uh, note about you. So, that's how that works. Okay, that was that was too much moving. Uh, Batley or Batty Coda? Did Will find out that Bill is Renegade Prinkles? I don't think so. I don't believe that's the case. Uh, let's see. If I swap you with you, now you're a little too low now. Okay, this one's too high though. So six mixed with. I want this to be a four. So six mixed with. That's gonna be. The poem isn't in there. Swap the seven with a four, if I can find a four. Is there a four to, there we go. There we go. But Will, how will people know to burn away the Nightmare King? I don't know. 
You've dot you've dot got. I mean, go ahead, Billy. You, re you resubmit whatever makes you happy. If it ah crap, duplicates here. If it makes you happy, it can't be that. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. I need. Let's see. I have a. Okay, except now I have another zero in here, so I've got to swap. Oh god, it's so close. Okay, so now this one just needs to go down one, and this one needs to go up. No, now there's a zero in there. I'm just, I'm dumb. Just rearrange. The... That's not what I meant to do. Undo. Way back in days of old, it was a legend old. Can I do Hitman VR on Tuesday? There will be no stream on Tuesday. I apologize. Uh, I'm going to be out of town. So, y'all will have to uh, cope with the loneliness elsewise. Tragically. Tragically. Okay, so this is so close, but this has a duplicate in it, which means I need to switch two things. So, one of these zeros has to go, but not into here. So, let's pop the zero into here. We might have to make some like big moves around with this last set. Uh, I know everyone's everyone's so sad. Swap the six for a seven to make it a one over here, and then that's our one. Y'all want to meet in the woods and do taffy shit? Okay, so let's. Pull, so no duplicates are present, and this is zero, one, five, two, and zero. But this just needs to just be two, so I need to move in some some negatives. So let's pull the negative six and swap it with the zero. Arr! It's so close. It's so close. Don't peer pressure people into uh, into the cult stuff, Bill. That's bad culting. Okay, so we got one set of duplicates right here. So I just need to turn this zero and zero. There's it's zero zero minus one and six. Okay. So I just need to do a very simple swap with two other numbers without completely destroying the other columns. All right, y'all are gonna go find the, uh, the inscription disc, apparently. Or dig up the Isaac uh, figurine. Okay, so I'm very nervous about moving anything around here. So obviously, so this is zero. Like, the ideal thing would be to swap in a one and a negative one. So if I swap in that and that, this is now properly set. And, oh, wait, and then these just switch. And there's more duplicates than there were before. I'm dumb. Okay, and just swap the zero for the minus one. Uh, and now everything's wrong, and that's okay. Uh, next stream will be next Friday. Uh, we're just skipping Tuesday. Okay. So now I have one, one, three, four, six, six, seven, but I have no duplicates. So let's just move a little bit around. I just have to swap. So this needs to go down by one and this needs to go up by one. That should be relatively simple. Uh, will it be Hitman? I mean, if John's on, uh, it might be a Returnal, it might be Hitman. I don't know. Uh, I mean, if John wants to stream on Tuesday, he's absolutely welcome to. I'd, I'd watch. Okay, 
So if I swap, no, because that'll give me duplicates if I just swap there. Yeah. Zero, seven, five. Do you have a six in here? What if I swap these two? No, that was wrong. That, that made that one higher and that, and that one lower. Uh, so what am I using? I'm using a minus five and a minus one. So obviously this minus five needs to swap with a minus four somewhere. Okay, well let's, let's screw around and see what happens. So now we have, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know that John has uh, done any solo streams. Uh, I don't, if he has a channel, I don't know it, which I would, so. Ooh, that bass, oh my God. Remember that time it was all Seinfeld slapping basses and it was so good? Oh shit, it was a demon, apparently. Some kind of number demon? Oh, he's melting, he's melting. The lad stood across the room and said not a word. The moment the task was completed, the door slammed shut all by itself. He is one of the 17, advised a voice from his black back, pock, back pocket. You have met others as well. The fool retrieved the tarot deck and flipped through the cards until he had located the high priestess. Obviously, being a card, being inside a card hasn't diminished your powers. Why do you stay there? Seek out the 17, she said. He intends to destroy them. You must recover the seven keys. The fool parked himself on a fallen log, exhausted. A plump salamander yipped. Asterion ceased her rants. All right, uh, I know we're going a little late, but we started late. So I'm going to keep pushing a little further. We're going to do Wentworth. Trudging onward, the fool left the forest and entered the grounds of an estate where ladies of high society hobnobbed. One spied his tarot deck and approached him at once. To truly understand herbs, you must understand remedial tarot. This is one of these fucking card game ones. Uh, have a good night, Wealthy Aardbark. Thanks for hanging out. You simply must meet the heiress. As a master of wordage, I trust you have brought plenty of merchandise. I play for tarot cards, he asserted. She can keep the wordage if she wins. It's a new game. The game is remedial tarot. The goal is 888 points. Taking turns, each player selects a card to build a couplet. The player uh, may also advance the rows of cards from one to four moves. From iniquitous to taciturn, there are 18 classes of couplets. Whether a boon, a balm, or a bane, a valid couplet scores immediately. Click a row marker to move the rows. Click an active card to add to the couplet. You cannot undo a move, however, you may reset the game at any time. Great. Move rows or pick cards. Uh, so, I'm, oh, I moved it. Okay. okay, so I move and then pick. So, Lynch Wart, I take, and then she takes, and then, so, Dung Thorn and Queen of Wands, she takes. Move rows or pick a card. Obviously, I want Worm's Foot and Goosebane. The Distracted Bomb reaps 96. It's the Fool's Hardest. I'm great at this. I'll take some Angel Pike. And some... Rotten. Nope. Replaces it. Oh, she got me with a Timorous Bane, which is Knight of Wands and Page of Wands. Uh, okay, there's nine of wands. And eight of wands? No. Canker Spore and the, the Fool is a callow boon. Let's see, let's take the Book of Thoth. And 
I don't see anything that would even kind of match that. Now I have Goosebane. And obviously we're going to combine Goosebane and Jack Clover. But that's not anything. But the Queen of Wands and Bungleweed is, of course, uh, a forgetful boon. Everyone keeping track? Oyster, Oyster, Oyster Beard. And, ho nope, just Hog Salt. Oh, she got Rotten Root and Lynch Wart. All right, let's take the Five of Wands. And the Six of Wands. That's the Bellicose Bane for a big 27 points. She's taking Wormfoot. But I counter by taking Canker Spore. Oh, but she got Page of Wands with Worm's Foot. Let's take that old Nine of Wands. Now, you might think I would counter with... Uh, that. We're going to take the Ten of Wands, and that's the Exhausted Bane for a, a quick 39 points. She takes the Rotten Root. Now, a lot of people think that that's a, that's a rookie move, but I think she knows what she's doing. So I'm going to take the Oyster Beard, obviously. Oh, she got oh, she got the Iniquitous Boon, because she took Rotten Root with the Book of Thoth. Okay. Let's go ahead and take... Oh, we got the Queen of Wands. I'm going to move this over. And I got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And that's an Enraged Bane for 51 points. Bing bong! Y'all know in a situation like this, I got to take the Eagleberry. Oh, she got the Lynch Wart and the Seven of Pentacles and wins the game. Obviously, that's the Wobegon Boon. So, anybody got any fucking clue uh, what I'm supposed to be doing here? Without looking anything up? It kind of has the shape of it. Let's reset the game and we're going to win for real this time. I love these shitty card games. Taking the Oyster Beard. Uh, it can't just be colors, because the, the herbs cards... No, because it's not just immediately that the herbs cards work together. It could be the number of leaves. So I have a... This Oyster Beard's a three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She did that with a seven. So this is... Is there a three of wands anywhere that I can take? There's a two of wands. Eagleberry has one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, let's just let's let's take the fool just for. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take the fool and the prince because they have like a, a vibe together. Paranoid Bane. All right, that's fifty-seven points. Seven leaves and a flower. Yeah. Um. So she's gonna take Canker Spore. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, so that's what, the, the page of wands? Uh, so I'll take the page of wands so she can't just take the cable spore. Uh, and page and knight together maybe? My, my, yeah, okay, Timorous Bane is 45 points. Okay, seven leaves and a flower. Okay. So that one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of. This has one, two, three, four. This has five. There's not a five of wands around, but. Okay, so that was Worm's Foot and Angel's Pike. So Worm's, that's a timorous balm for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Let's take the two of wands and see what I can do with it. She takes the rotten root. 
Do I see any plants that look like they could be a two? I could just take the ace of wands and see if the one and the two together get me something. Not much, but they do. It's the demented Bane. Oh, no Bane on the plane tonight. Uh, I know that Lynchwort and Seven of Pentacles together are a combo. So let's take Lynchwort. Uh, and then I can't take the Seven of Pentacles because it's in the wrong spot. So maybe if I move the whole thing over? No. Eagleberry and Lynchwort, that's not anything. So these have similar shapes, some of these. Like the prince has kind of the same shape as the dung thorn. So I should look out for that kind of like that profile. All right, so I take the canker spore because it's right there. Uh, and then do I want the peep feather or? Canker spore. I mean, Toad Silk's right here. Or, this looks kind of similar. No, game disagrees. Oyster Beard and King of Wands, apparently, uh, are similar. Uh, the game is called Remedial Tarot. Seven of Pentacles. And... Oh, nothing. Nothing for her either. The Two of Wands kind of looks like it might be. This is the... I just sound crazy while I play this, I'm aware. Um, Sandpiper and Firegrass. Rotten Root and Knight of Wands. Also nothing. Three of Wands with Firegrass. Oh, she wanted the Book of Toth. So Rotten Root with Book of Toth is apparently... See, I see how that has a similar pattern to it. Firegrass and Two of Wands, I'll try it next time I see it. Sorry. All right. Worm's Foot. She took the Lynch Wart, which I knew worked with the Worm's Foot. Um... Lynch Wart and Doug Tharm. Dung Thorn. Okay. Eight of Wands. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Can I show the rules again? I can show the rules for sure. They're not very helpful. The game is Remedial Tarot. The goal is 888 points. Taking turns, each player selects a card to build a couplet. The player may also advance the rows of cards from one to four moves. From Iniquitous to Taciturn, there are 18 classes of couplets. Whether a boon, a balm, or a bane, a valid couplet scores immediately. Click a row marker to move the rows. Click an active card to add to the couplet. You cannot undo a move. However, you may reset the game at any time. Eight of wands. I mean, let's just take eight and seven of wands. That doesn't get me a lot of points, but it gets me a couple points. So she's taking Canker Spore. I'll take the Fool, because I know there's some stuff that... Um... I mean, some of these kind of look like they might be the right design. Like, maybe Peep Feather. There's the Prince, which is the one I actually want to get in there, but... But apparently the Prince and the Seven Pentacles is also a combination. Wobegon Bane. Okay. I'll take the Book of Thoth. Why not? I think this one lines up, doesn't it? Yes. So that's 171 points. That one I've learned. Book of Thoth and Rotten Root. Take the Knight of Wands. Dungthorn and Lynchwort. I let her get Dungthorn and Lynchwort again. More fool me. That 
That one we knew about. Enraged Boon. There must be a logic beyond just memorization. Because that's... It, it's not a good puzzle if it's memorization, right? Seven of Pentacles. And then I know that works with Dungthorn. No, it doesn't. I'm wrong. Timorous Boon is Angel Pike with Knight of Wands. Like, what about that tells me that that's a boon? All right, well, I got the Paranoid Bane. That one I just know. Oh, he took the queen from me. Uh, Knight uses a pike? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so fire, grass, toad, silk, goose, bane, nine of wands, three of wands, has a horse and an ocean, jack, clover. So what do I know something works with king of wands. That's like... This is kind of spiky. No. So Bungleweed with the Queen of Wands. Sometimes it does match the plant a bit. Or like maybe it's the plant in the background. That doesn't look very much like that though. She took the Rotten Root because I we know that that takes that blocks rotten root and lynch wart good old rotten root and lynch wart take the ace of wands dungthorn i think would have worked with the ace of wands it has like the the same profile and then let's take let's take Nightclaw. It's straight. Nope. That's the Paranoid Balm. The king and the plant with three wide spiky leaves. Yeah. So I take the Sand Pepper, which is like this kind of it's bendy. Is that is the fool in Worm's foot? Oysterbeard, yeah, that's the one that goes with the king, so. Oysterbeard and Bungleweed, I don't understand why those go together, right? There's nothing that to me that says that those two cards should go together. They're, they're, those are all enraged as the suit, though. Kings have beards, they do. Oysterbeard, Bungleweed are both in the enraged suit because that's the it's the enraged triplet but is there some rule that i'm not understanding beard and weed bungle oyster hog salt lynch wart i know lynch wart and she'll pull whatever the other one Hog salt and has the eye of thoth in the background. Blue fading into green. There's nothing none of these to me look like they should. This maybe the two of wands, kind of. She got good old Lynchwort and Dungthorn, which are in the Wobegon along with the Prince. taking pictures because I'm just going to have to I think it is maybe it is just memorization so seven of pentacles she takes canker spore seven of pentacles I don't see the one that matches with that uh, let's take the king of wands which is enraged which we know that enraged goes the other the enraged ones are oyster beard and bungleweed Neither of which is currently available to me. 
But I can just take the Queen of Wands, and that'll be a, a doublet. Enraged Bane. So the Queen is also enraged? Maybe? Angel Pike. Let's take Oyster Beard, because I know I can... Uh, she took the Bungleweed, but now, see, now Bungleweed is working in the Forgetful bane, Balm. So I don't know what the Bane and Balm stuff means either. Take the Ace of Wands. And, okay, that's got to, those are, okay, wait, no, uh, no. The Calobane, which is, of course, the King of Wands and the Fool together. Lynchwort. Good old Lynchwort. Not going to let she get the Dungthorn with it. Lynchwort and Dungthorn. Doesn't matter, because... Eris wins. All right. I'm excited to keep doing this until I win. So, Ace of Wands... Versus Canker Spore. Does the Fool work with the Ace? No. Canker Spore and Dungthorn. Lynchwort. Good old Lynchwort. Sandpepper and Firegrass, maybe? They're both deserty. Nope. Worm's Foot and Page of Wand. I, this is driving me nuts. Because uh, it feels like there should be a logic to it, and I can't pull it at all. Dungthorn. Can't put Ten of Wands in there. Let's try putting Five of Wands in there. Nope, Dungthorn and Prince. That's the Paranoid Boon. Anybody have any uh, any ideas? This is the second of these card games that I just can't understand what the rule is, and it's uh, driving me to distraction. So let's reset because I've already lost. Um, okay. What is the rule? We have eight of wands. It has eight wands flying through the sky. Actually, it has seven wands flying through the sky. Where's the eighth wand? Oh, there it is. It's up at the top. So. That's lynchwort. Lynchwort, I know, combines with a bunch of different stuff. Uh, but... Eight of Wands plus Seven of Wands, I think will just get me like a like a cheap number thing. Yeah. So that's a foreboding bane. Angel Spike. Angels and Monks. Okay, he took that so I couldn't agree. It, apparently. Monk Thistle and like the King's not going to work with that I think. Even though they're both spiky. Angel Spike and Worm's Foot work together in some way. They both have nine letters in their name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. All right, I'll try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pea Feather has 11 letters in its name. 
Dung Thorn has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rotten Root has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Canker Spore, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, let's try it. No. Lynchwort. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Canker spore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Peep feather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's not that. It is not number of letters in the name of the herb. I take the fool. She takes Rotten Root. Oh, I could have just taken the Prince. Fun to see. Fifty-seven cheap points. She takes Oyster Beard. I'll take the Book of Thoth. Book of Thoth plus. There's one of these that was like confirmed, uh, basically. Maybe it's, let's try Goosebane because those both have double O's in them. Nope, nothing. Uh, I mean, Dungthorn combines with a bunch of stuff, so let's take Dungthorn. And there's the Lynch Ward. That gets me, so that's at least, I know that that's, 104. That's the Wobegon Balm. I'll take the Oyster Beard. Rotten Root and Firegrass work together. Um, Queen of Wands. Here's the King of Wands. So that's, that's some easy points. Dung thorn. She, damn, she got the dung thorn. You hate to see it. Paranoid Bane. Canker Spore. Take that old lynch wart. see any of the stuff that I know will work with Lynch Wart. Let's try Jack Lover. No, oh, Rotten Root with the Book of Thoth for 171 points. Of course it does. Oyster Beard, which works with the Enraged stuff. What's the other plant that it works with? I apologize for just putting chat to sleep tonight, but, you know, we play games. So Bungleweed works with Oyster Beard. No Bungleweed. No Bungleweed. Oh, she took the Bungleweed, so I couldn't take it. Okay. Let's take the five wands. Uh, okay, so Bungleweed and Queen of Wands is the forgetful boon. Okay. Which is worth huge points, apparently. King of Wands. Okay. Monk Thistle. She took Goosebane. Does he, does he play with the Fool at all? King and the Fool? King and the Fool. That's a Callow Bane. Okay. Got that damn Dung Thorn. And then the Lynch Wart comes right out afterwards. Thorn and Seven of Pentacles. So Lynchwort, I have seen in I've seen Lynchwort in the Wobegon stuff. Is the Prince Wobegon or is the Prince paranoid? I think the Prince is paranoid. But I don't remember who's Wobegon, so I'll just take the Prince and see if it gets me anything. It doesn't. The Prince is paranoid is is his suit, I think. If I right click and it'll tell me the suit. Um, 
I think I tried Ace of Wands with him. I think Dung Thorn is the one that definitely works with him. Let's just give him the Book of Thoughts, see if he gets anything. Nope. And then Angel Spike and Worm's Foot. I think I knew that one. Let's take another picture. I'm taking pictures sometimes of these, especially of the herbs ones, because they're driving me nuts. Uh, we'll take the Oyster Beard. She takes the Rotten Root. She takes the Whiskey Drink. Because, like, there are... Right? There are... There are 18 classes of couplets, from Inquisitive to Taciturn. From Inquisitive to Taciturn. Fudge does that mean? Uh, Bungleweed. Is, uh, there we go. That's an enraged bomb. So. Good old Dungthorn. And I take the Lynch Wart. the heiress's harvest of the paranoid balm. I take the king of wands. She takes worm's foot. That's oyster beard, but I can't take it, annoyingly. So. This was something, right? The fool and the, the king, was that something? Yes, that's the callow bane. She takes oyster beard. I go ahead and take rotten root. Uh, oyster beard and bungle bead. Bungle bum. Bungle bum. I'm getting higher scores. Playing with the queen of wands. I wonder if she works better with the prince or the king. I bet she works better with the prince. If I'm wrong. I'm wrong! And... See, that one, the shape at least lines up. The shape of the pentacles makes sense with the lynch wart. Boy, I lost a lot of points on that one. That was foolish of me. And then... Does Bungleweed work with the king? No. No, it do not. Maybe the six of wands and the king? Because they're both doing like kind of the same shape. Worm's Foot, and the page. Let's reset, because I've taken no points so far. One and a two together. That's no points, but it works. Okay, so... Every card has a suit assigned to it. And the suits are, um, maybe they're alphabetical? So the, the numbers, the numbers, their suits go through the numbers. Right? How many? There's, what, 18 classes. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then the four face cards. Then the prints in the book. Maybe. Uh... Maybe they're alphabetical on the on the on the on the herbs. So let's just for the sake of it, let's try doing Angel Spike. Okay. Dungthorn and Canker Spore. And they're a balm. Okay. I mean, Queen of Wands. Yeah, there wasn't anything uh, Harris could do about that. So that's a Bane where the one higher than it goes... Okay, 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 okay. So hypothetically, Hog Salt and Goose Bane would work together. So let's try that. Oh, except they screwed me. Hog Salt and... H-I-J-K... H... No, I need the Jack one. So let's try... So Hog Salt, if it goes A, B, C, D, E. Hog Salt is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is eight. 
So let's try the Eight of Wands. I can't try the Eight of Wands, annoyingly. Uh, so let's try the Seven of Wands. Because then they'll be one off from each other. No. Okay. And that's Page of Wands and Ten. Okay, no, that makes sense. That's the, that's the Eleven and the Ten together. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, the, the, the plants are... Is there an A plant? Huh. All right, let's keep this. Let's keep trying this. Okay, I'll take the lynchwort because it's powerful. I, I've, oh, lynchwort and dungthorn together. That doesn't match my criteria. That's the Wobegon balm. So that that doesn't work. Angel pike, that's right. Okay. So there's one for most of the letters down to toad silk. There's not a Q, though, is there? You did see that. Yes. I'll take the seven, because I know what the seven works with. If I can get it. Oh, the canker spore and the fool. So why would it be canker spore and the fool? Is it just the shape? It's a callow boon. Canker spore, by that logic, would be the third card. Hmm. Take the queen. And take the king. So when you can get cheap points, take the cheap points. We're going to take the prince. I wonder if they took the Book of Thoth just to keep it from me. So the prince. So by, like, by that logic, the prince is like 15th or something. Um... Try Nightclaw. Yeah, because they go, they go Angel Spike. I'm writing them down now. Uh, C is what? Okay, so it's A, B, C, D. E is Eagleberry. Uh, F is Fire Pepper. G is Goosebane. H is hog salt. I haven't seen an I. Do we see it? D is dung thorn. That's right. Uh, H, I, J is jack. K, L is lynch thorn. Monk. And then in is Night Claw, Night. O, P, Peep Feather. Uh, P, I haven't seen a Q, I think. R, S, and then T is something. Oyster Beard, Oyster Beard, that's right. M in Oyster Beard. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's try with the prince. Let's just try um, one of the, the latest one we can get in, which is uh, Peep Feather. It's Fire Grass, not Fire Pepper. Ah, Rotten Root. PQ Rotten. Sand Pepper. Toad. So how many herbs is that so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 15. So that's that's almost the whole thing, right? Um, monk, goose. I still don't remember what the B is. Uh, H, I, J, and if there's a K. Okay, Prince and Peep Feather did not work. Uh, so let's try Prince and Toad Silk. There's the Dung Thorn. Rotten Root. Book of Thoth. So Rotten Root's almost at the end. Canker Spore. Canker Spore is the C. Lynchwort, Dungthorn. Okay, let's just... Take the Canker Spore. Bungleweed. Bungleweed is the B. Bungleweed is the B. K 
Canker Spore, and let's try the Three of Wands, because Canker would be three, right? No, so it's not just that. That's not it. Bungleweed and Angle Spike, they're next to each other. That that makes, and that's a balm when they're next to each other like that. Okay. Maybe even just in that order, they're a balm. That makes it a balm. So let's like. Four, page, seven. So six and seven are both on my board right now. So I'll take the seven and try to get the six. Unless she takes it. She didn't. So this should be a balm? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's pentacles. It's pentacles. I completely missed that it. it's pentacles. Okay. Lynchwort and the queen. Um... Worm's foot. Worm's foot is below. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's pick up Oyster Oyster Beard and see what it gets me. Oh, Lynchwort and Dungthorn. Why do Lynchwort and Dungthorn work together, though? They're not near each other in any way, shape, or form in the list. If you're taking it in order. King of Wands, she took Rotten Root, so she'll take the Sand Pepper to, to finish it off, I think. Uh, can't take Prince. Can I take Knight? Will Knight do anything? I don't think so. I don't think that's the order. Rotten Root in the 10, so I can't get the 10. That's why she did that, because 10 and Knight are next to each other. Okay. Uh, King and Fool go together. Not for a lot of points, but that's a Callow Bane. Okay. Okay, so I have written down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 herbs. So that's got to be all the herbs. Um, and then, so... What do they... So what do they line up with with the other set of cards? Because the other set of cards is one through ten of stuff. Of multiple suits, though. I've, I've been... Most of these are wands, but we do have the seven of pentacles in here kind of out of nowhere, right? To the point that I didn't even notice that it was was in there. Goosebane and Monk Thistle are also very far from each other alphabetically, if that's the order. That's an exhausted balm. Let's try Angel Pike and and the Ace. Lynchwort, good old Lynchwort. No, that's not it. All the wands are there, and that's 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 fourteen cards. That's that's the the ace through the ten, the page, the jack, uh, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And then the other cards that I have that don't automatically fit into that structure are the Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, the Prince, and the Book of Thoth. Okay. We know from observation that okay uh and then the order that the, there, there's an order we can perceive where the queen 
if, if it is about them being in an order, the queen and the king, and and, and then that goes in, that goes into a. Um, I wonder if King of Wands and Ace of Wands touch each other. They don't. Okay. Queen of Wands and King of Wands do. Okay, and that gets me an enraged Bane. The king and the king is the enraged one, I believe. So he's baned because he's next to one down from him, I think. And then the fool is after him. Because I get the callow from that. And then the prince is after him. And I think the book is after him. And then I think it loops back around. I should try the book and the... I'm going to try to get the book and the ace. Uh, they pulled Dungthorn, though, and... That works with like Worm's Foot. I can't remember. Dungthorn and the Prince are a paranoid boon. I think. So there's Boon, Balm, and Bane as what they can be. I've got full notebook, bo notebook mode now, and I've been going for an extra hour. Whoops. Uh, she won the game. That's fine. Okay, I have the fool. The fool is callow. I, I, I'm pretty sure that the fool is callow. And she took Lynchwort. So the fool gets those Bane Boon interactions with either the prince or the king, neither of which whom I can get my hands on right now. So the fool has the fool treat bungleweed. The fool doesn't care about bungleweed. Okay, well I can at least get this. So this will be a paranoid bane. Yeah. So if you're if you're one off from the if you're in your same suit and you're one off, that produces a bane. Canker spore. Okay. So ace. I do want to see what I can line the ace up with for information. Canker Spore and Dungthorn, that's a balm. That one also seems like it should be one off, but. That's a paranoid balm. Which suggests, among other things, that Canker is paranoid. If Kanker is paranoid, then I could hypothetically line up everything else from there. So that would make uh, so the queen is forgetful, and that's that's three back from the prince. One, two, three. That would mean she would line up with Angel. Let's try lining up the queen with Angel. I then I'm not sure if the order makes a difference. Uh, it is. I'm going to take the easy points on this one, but uh, we're gonna still going to try to line up the, the queen and the... That's an enraged bane. I think the... No, because see, that's still an enraged bane either way. The queen of wands and the king of wands is still an enraged bane. There's oyster beard. We know oyster beard lines up with the king. Uh, which makes no sense with my other stuff. Uh... But I don't think I want her to get Nightclaw right now, so let's I'll take Nightclaw. Although if she gets Peep Feather, that's also bad. I think I might be in trouble either way. I think she's gonna try to take Nightclaw. No. Hmm. Um Well then I'll take them both. Right, we knew that Rotten Root and the Book of Thoth lined up. Uh as iniquitous, which is, ooh, okay, iniquitous is also what we were told is the, um, 
Yeah, we're playing Hearthstone. You are absolutely right, Kofnet. We were told that Iniquitous and is is the first suit from Iniquitous to Taciturn. I haven't seen a Taciturn, I think. So, uh, if is Rotten Root. The one I don't know what it means is Balm. I don't know what, what a Balm is yet, I guess. Okay, so I'll take the Fool. Fool is Callow. She takes Lynchwort. Um, so if... Tanker is paranoid, then Bungleweed. Let's try Angel Spike just to see if it. Angel Pike, rather. No. Ah, good old Dungthorn and Lynchwort, which is a Woebegone Balm. I wonder if those are. If Balm is some kind of opposite jump. Like, how far away are those two? One, two, three, four, five. They're six apart alphabetically. It'd be weird if there was one for being six apart alphabetically. So I should just start marking down what I think are the, that's Callow. Or no, the prince is paranoid. And the fool is Callow. The king is enraged. The book is iniquitous. Okay. Gotta have my boons. Boons are good, bombs okay, and Bane's bad. Bane's seem like they make the least points, but they're also the ones that are easiest to get. Like, uh, I'm gonna get an easy Bane right here by taking Eight of Wands and Seven of Wands. That's a simple Bane. That's a foreboding Bane. Uh, so that makes the Eight the fore foreboding, I think. Uh, okay. So now I have, I mostly have plants out. Uh, the prince, oh, canker spores out here. So if I take the prince here. Oh, they didn't pull it far enough to, to give it to me. Uh, I'll just take f two of wands. So she's got worm's foot and queen of wands. Just take fire grass and hope they move it in a way that is profitable for me. Nope. Distracted Balm is what that one is. Distracted Balm. Balms I still don't understand. Uh, and there's this weird ass... The Seven of Pentacles in here... It goes with Lynchwort, I know, so I'll take it. She moves too far. Rotten Root. Can't let her get Book of Thoth, then. Oh. That was an iniquitous Bane. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles comes after the book. Okay. Bombs away, for sure. Okay. So, that was an iniquitous bane, which suggests that, yes, uh, Seven of Pentacles comes after... Oh, they got Lynchwort into Dungthorn? I don't think so. Okay. So Dungthorn, I know Dungthorn works with the Prince. Is there a C? No, I don't have either the, the D or the E. So if it works with the Prince, I don't actually know where what else I could try here. I'm just gonna move her forward a bunch. They've got Bungleweed and the King. Uh, let's try Eagleberry, let's see if Eagleberry, uh, I don't know if I'm learning any rules. Okay, so it's not, they're not in alphabetical order. They're not in alphabetical order. There is one for every letter, but they're not in alphabetical order. Order. That's frustrating. All right, I take Firegrass. I take Goosebane. Nothing. And then Rotten Root and Lynchwort. Calm like a bomb.
That's an easy bane. Obstinate, easy obstinate bane for crappy points. Canker spore. That goes with the prince. So it's not going to go with any of the numbers that are on the board. Queen of Wands. And I got to get the, the prince off the board. I'm not going to get anything from the... But I got to get the prince off the board or else she'll take it. So. Oh, right. That's a... I knew that. I knew that was a bane. So does Seven of Pentacles and Ace... Uh... I mean, that's that's just a simple Callow Bane. I take Worm's Foot. We are Sex Balm. Queen of Wands and Worm's Foot. All right, just take the Ace and the Two. All right, Seven of... I think Seven of Pentacles and the Ace might wrap around to each other. That's like the least points I can get to Minted Bane. Oh, there's the book. That's a lot of points. That's a kill. That is the kill. Let's reset. Okay. There's a five and a four of wands on the table. So let's... Actually, let's do this. The three. Easy points. Not big points, but easy points. There's Dungthorn. I don't see any, like, the lethal stuff with Dungthorn. Um, okay, I think it, it does. I think that one does go with Canker Spore, though. So, Canker Spore, and then... Canker Spore goes with the Prince. So this is going to be a paranoid... Boon? No. Shit, I had that wrong. Okay. And there's the king and queen. Okay, I have that wrong somehow. Okay. Um, I mean, there's page of wands and of wands. It's just some more cheap points. Canker spore is the fool. It's callow, not. not Oyster beard. I'm gonna take the book. Oh, there's the seven of pentacles I would need. Uh, none of that lines up. So, um, but I don't want him to get get hurt at oyster beard because that works with the king. Peep feather and the eight of wands. Good old peep feather and the eight of wands is a foreboding. Boon. So Peep Feather is foreboding. I already knew that uh, eight was foreboding. So Peep Feather is foreboding. There's some rhyme or reason to how the um it can't just be memorization. That would be asinine if it was just memorization. There's the ace. I want to see if the ace and the seven work together, but she won't let me. Uh, seven and the prince? No. If the book was out, we both want the book. I'll, take the, I'll pick up the prince, though. So. Oh! That's a woebegone bane. Uh, okay, well, now I'm just straight up fucking confused, because that means there's a gap somewhere in my understanding. That means that seven of pentacles is in... Okay, that was an assumption, actually. So Seven of Pentacles is in between Prince and Book. That's Wobegon, so Seven of Pentacles is Wobegon, I think. He takes Lynch Wart. She takes Lynch Wart. And I gotta take Dungthorn so that she can't... What number is the Prince? I think... The card games aren't my thing either, but here we are. I think that the prince is um, 11, 12, 13, 14th. Uh, the prince is, uh, it, I think the order on the numbers side is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, page, king, queen, king, fool, prince, 
Seven of Pentacles, Book of Thoth. Okay, uh, so I have Dungthorn, which I feel like I should know what it lines up with. It lines up with the Prince in some way, but... Oh, there's the damn Book of Thoth. Oh, Goosebane and the Ten of Wands is an exhausted boon. So those are both exhausted. Okay. Those boons are worth a ton of points. Let's take the book. Say he brought the book. Okay. So I have the Book of Thoth. Uh, which I know is iniquitous, as is rotten weed, which I don't have on the board. And I think it boons with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, neither of which I have access to, so. There's the Ace of Wands. Canker Spore and the Fool is a callow boon. So those are both callow. You were right about that. Those boons are worth a ton. So King of Wands, that's the agonizing thing about this is after all of this, I still have to play the game well. Take the Ace of Wands, they take Monk Thistle. Okay, so, oh no, that's, that's right, that's right, I knew that was right. So Monk Thistle and the Nine of Wands are both obstinate. Uh, so Monk Thistle, Obs and nine is obs. So let's see. So, so that's interesting. So, in that order, it goes goose. Like if we're going, it goes uh, monk, thistle, and then goose is wild. Uh, okay, so do I know what six of wands is? No, I don't. Do I know what fire is? No. Uh, I can play with the I can play with the prince though. So let's take the prince. There's that damn rotten root, so make sure Thoth doesn't come out. Uh do da da do. That music sting is part of a meta puzzle. I will pay attention to it. Uh okay. Bungleweed might make sense, actually. I'm still thinking in alphabetical, which is dumb. Oh, I gotta take uh, I gotta take Thoth off the board, uh, and Prince doesn't go with Book. I've learned, but I gotta take that off the board anyway. So that's an iniquitous balm. The balms are the ones I still don't understand. Uh, so that's iniquitous because of Rotten Root. Take the fool. Hmm. One one seven is isn't bad. No, it's it's good if I could get it. Um, just be clear. No, he can't be with the the fool. Can't be with the the fool touches the king and the prince. Neither of whom I have access to. Let's take the queen. Okay. I don't know what the queen lines up with yet. I don't have the queen. I think the queen is forgetful, but I don't have it, like... That's not for sure. Uh, let's see. There's the page. Not the knight. Um, yeah, the boons are when you match. I think the boons are when you match... Uh, the suit, the match, the the class. Okay, so I don't have any information on Jack Lover, so let's try to take the Jack Lover and see what we get. That's Goosebane and ten. That's exhausted. Yes, we knew that. And she wins. We reset. There's the Canker Spore. I'll take the Canker Spore just to see more of the board. There's Oyster Beard and King, so let's take King. And we 
booster beer. That's an enraged boon. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna like put all of these in order afterward, like based on their number and like really enjoy figuring out how the fuck I was supposed to solve some of this stuff. Oh, good old, I, those balms are weird. I still don't know how those work because I don't understand the actual order of the herbs. Uh, okay. Bungleweed, we don't know what bungleweed goes with. Um, Oh, it goes with the queen. Okay, bungleweed is forgetful. Just like the queen. Bungleweed and the queen are forgetful. I'm going to be extremely lazy and take, like, the minimum number of points here. Wee! 18 points for a suspicious bane. see worms i don't have worms written down yet so book of thoth oh i can just oh okay so worms foot and goosebane are a distracted balm of course they are that's an easy enraged boon okay dung thorn uh There's Rotten Root. So I know that Iniquitous is next to Wobegon, and Rotten Root is Iniquitous, and Seven of Pentacles. So Rotten Root and Seven of Pentacles maybe should do something together. We're going to find out. Unless I do something dumb and just give them something easy. Like Dungthorn and Canker Spore, which are a balm. Dungthorn is paranoid. Um, what was I trying to do? Seven of Pentacles. Getting tired. Seven of Pentacles and the Fool aren't going to do anything together, but... So Seven of Pentacles is Wobegon, as is... Oh, what's the, what's the Wobegon herb? Do we know? Seven of Pentacles touches Prince, though, so that's, that'll be a Bane. Yeah, that's the Wobegon Bane. Okay. Yeah, the pairs you've listed are Boons, yes. Uh, Queen goes with Bungle, so let's move Queen over and see what we get. Wormsfoot and Goosebane is once again a distracted... Balm. Uh, there's the ace and the two. I'm just going to take the ace and the two. Three points. Waste of a turn, kind of, but I'll take it. Dungthorn. Oh, there's Rotten Root in Book of Thoth. Oh, that's Dungthorn and Canker Spore. Oysterbeard is enraged. So, Bungleweed and Oysterbeard should go together. That's why they took it, though. Assholes. Okay. And there's the... Em okay, they didn't take the Emperor. Weird. Okay, um... Now, well, King of Wands and Bungleweed, uh, no. And then Monk Thistle and Nine is an obstinate boon. So Nine is obstinate. I think I had that already. I did, didn't I? And Monk is obstinate. Yes, I already had that down. Damn it. She's so close to winning. Ten is exhausted and Goose is exhausted. Okay, so there's Goosebane and Ten. And 
that's an exhausted boom. Okay. There's Rotten Root, which is... Yes, okay, fine. Uh, I have wondered that and don't know. I've, I've poked at that a bunch and just have not been able to... Oh. And she wins. Rotten Root and Firegrass. There has to be some patterning for the um, the herbs, and it's it's very difficult to figure out. Like Oyster Beard is enraged and goes with King. Dungthorn is paranoid and goes with the Prince. So there's the Prince. Come on, no, come on, don't be a dick. I mean, I'll just take the Calobane. Paranoid Bane. Paranoid Bane. They do look clue-like. I agree that they look clue-like. Okay, so that's Goose Bane, which is which goes with the 10. So let's make sure the 10's not out. Um, doing the cheap Bane, the obstinate Bane. Okay. Bungleweed, which is forgetful, so don't let them get the queen. Um, Canker Spore. Angel Pike, we don't know what Angel Pike goes with. Jack Lever, I don't know what it goes with. Um, like, none of these I know what they go with. But there's... See, and that one's the one that made me think there was something with the alphabet stuff. Because, like, Bungleweed and Angel Pike is a forgetful palm. Off. Do I have any interest in changing my name to Edward and guest starring on a hypothetical Ed, Ed, and Eddie recap podcast? I uh, let me. It's. I'll put that in the queue. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Paranoid. Uh, no, they don't touch. That's right. And there's the fucking callow boon. Okay. Monk Thistle is obstinate along with the nine. Do I have the nine anywhere? No. They took Rotten Root, so they're going for the Book of Thoth. Monk Thistle... So it goes Monk Thistle, then... So Monk Thistle lines up with... The nine. Is there anything about this that suggests it should be nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it has nine flowers on it. Absolutely. One, two, three, four, kind of, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rotten Root lines up with the Book of Thoth, which is one, which is the very end. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Did I count that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Okay, so Monk Thistle I hypothetically goes next to Oyster Beard. No, it doesn't. It hypothetically goes up to, uh, goes next to, uh, Goose, which I don't have access to. Toad Silk has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's not it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because that's definitely not the one that goes with ten. Rotten Root and Lynchwort. Lynchwort goes with a bunch of stuff, and I don't know why. Um, I think it's next. It, it might be. It might go with. Lynchwort might be Wobegon, maybe. This is as long as I've spent on a puzzle. So Bungleweed can't let them get the queen. Then so we got to take the queen out of the off the board. And that's a bomb. Let's reset the score again. I feel like I'm close to understanding something. It's extremely inscrutable. 
Uh, no, Oyster goes with uh, the King of Wands for some reason. Uh, okay, I have Queen of Wands. Is the Boon out? The Boon is not out. So we're just going to take the, the Enraged Bane. Canker Spore, so we can't let them have the Fool. And then they're going to take the Prince so that I can't get the Prince. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, no, that's a Callow Balm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So that's interesting because Canker Spore goes to Fool and Oyster Beard goes to King. That's, so that's, okay, so we get the Balms when they touch, when the, okay, we get the Banes when the numbers touch and we get the Balms when the, um, when the plants touch. So let me start putting the plants in order. Uh, Rotten Root is at the bottom, right? And then uh, whatever Wobegon is, which I think is Lynchwort, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then uh, above that is Dungthorn. So I think that's Lynchwort. And then... Uh, and then... Um, Canker above that. Because that's the fool. So canker. Oh, I get why you're we're doing an Ed, 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 Ed and Eddie thing because of the Canker Sisters. Okay. And then above that is Oyster Beard. Or below that. And then um and then it's Bungle. Now, why are any of these plants in this order? I have no fucking clue. Uh, and then I don't know what uh, I don't know what comes next after that. Uh, so there's the prince. The prince is callow. So that's uh, no, the prince is paranoid. So it goes. The prince is the prince goes with Dungthorn. And then the book. See, he writes the book. Oyster in between Canker and Bungle, yeah. Uh, so then it goes Fool. King and Bungle. And then we've never done one with the, the King of... So then it goes Blank for King, or Blank for Knight, Blank for page, and then 10 is goose. I'm gonna look up the solution on this one afterwards so I can see if there was some logic I was missing. So the 10 is Goose. The 9 is what? Monk Thistle, right? Yes. And then I don't. And then, oh, and the 8 is Foreboding. Uh, along with, I think. Uh, peep. And I think that is all that I have got. Okay, so. There's Peep Feather, peep feather and Eight of Wands next to each other, so we can just double check right now whether the thing I think that is is right. So that should be a foreboding boom. Excellent. Foreboding boom. Okay. The lower ones are hard to work out because there's no particularly good... Oh, oh! Angel Pike must go with Knight because we keep getting Angel Pike and Bungle as... Um, as a uh, Balm. Uh, okay, so Monk is with Nine. Do I have the Nine out? I do have the Nine out, so let's take Monk. No, there's that angel. There's that angel pike and bungleweed. Okay. 
So that's a balm when they touch on that side. Okay. And then Goose is ten. Is ten ten is out. Okay. So let's just take Goose and Goose and Ten and that's that's an easy bait. Or an easy boot. That's an exhausted boon. So they're taking Canker Spore. Uh, canker Spore goes with Oyster and Dung. Are Oyster and Dung out? Either of them? No. Dung is. Dung is. So I gotta take. I'll take Dung and then hopefully I'll, they'll move it enough for me to get the Prince. They did. But Canker and Oyster are also a Calo. Are also a Balm. It's just hard when you're coming from the, the back. So. Lynch lines up with the Seven of Pentacles, so let's try it. Let's try for that. There we go. That's a Wobegon Boon. Cool. It reminds me a little bit of the potion game. Uh, okay, so that's Bungleweed. So they want the Queen? There's Rotten Root next to Book of Thoth, so I'll try for it. Uh, but they want... Is Angel Pike out... No, and then I don't know what else that would touch. Goose. Or no, Bungleweed. Uh, Oyster is the other one, so Oyster is also not out right now. But it could be if I move too much. But oh, Of course, they just took that. Uh, okay, and then they can take... Well, two can play at that game. Uh, so Rotten... I don't know what Rotten loops around to, so I don't have anything it can touch. If I had Lynch Thorn on the board, that would be the good one to take. But for now, we'll just get the Queen out of the way. Right. So Ace is back around. So Ace loops back around. So it loops back around to one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, and of course, we knew Ace goes with Taciturn. We knew it goes from Iniquitous to Taciturn. So down. Okay, so I've got the fool out. I've got the king out. So I could just do the fool and the king. Um, but there's there's canker spore. So let's let's take the fool over. Oh, but then they move it like that. Um, toad silk. I have no idea what toad silk goes with. So. Um, I'm gonna take dung thorn because the prince is out there too. So. Okay, uh, Toad Silk comes before Peep, so Toad Silk must go with Seventh. King of Wands, and they moved it over enough for me to get Oyster Beard, and that's the Enraged Boon. Lynch Wart. So I can't let them get, um, can't let them get the Rotten Root. Okay. Lynch Wart with the, the Knight. Uh, the Knight goes with Angel, so I can't let them get Angel or, uh, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Pentacles right there, so I gotta get rid of that or win some other way. So, Rotten Root goes with whatever Taciturn lines up with, but I don't know that. So, um, if it went the book, that'd be great. I guess I gotta take the seven of pentacles off the board. Ah, Timorous. Timorous Bane. Knight and page. So the page is Timorous. Uh, I don't know what number goes with, uh, goes with, the, or what, uh, which herb is Timorous, but... Okay, we're not going to lose this thing. He said. I think Taciturn seems to be the lowest level. Worm's Foot. Worm's Foot. I don't know what Worm's Foot goes with. Okay. Uh, Book of Thoth with Ace. I'm just going to take the, the extremely crappy. Uh, yeah. So this will be a Taciturn Bane. They took Dungthorn, uh, which lines up with uh, Lynch, Wart, and Canker. Are either of those on the board? They are not. Uh, take the Fool. They 
took the king so that I couldn't take the, um, let's see, Dungthorn, does Dungthorn touch angel? No, Bungle and Goose touch angel. So, if I take angel though, they'll just take the queen and I'll be dead. Uh, fool does not touch the seven of pentacles queen or there's the knight of wands so let's just take that oh I could oh I, I can take canker spore and that's okay I need basically one more win because that's the callow boon what if they just started changing the rules I wouldn't put it past them okay so there's the seven of pentacles and the lynch wart together so let's see if we can't get them No, they take that. Yeah, no, I kind of knew that would happen. But there's the Rotten Root. Okay, this should be a iniquitous balm, and it should win me the game. That took an hour and a half. Wasting no time, the fool met the heiress and beat her at her own game. Reluctantly, she handed over her tarot deck, including the 18 cards depicting herbs. That settles it, the fool pronounced. These herbs were cultivated to induce illness, not remedy it. I bring a message from strength, growled an immense lion who looked a bit worse for wear. She says you must cease your distrust of the high priestess and form an alliance with her and the magician. But she's on the side of the pirates, he gasped. Yet the lion had dashed away as if being pursued. Apathetic to the arrival and departure of a lion, the ladies clucked. Edwardson never owned. Okay. Uh, thanks for hanging in there, everybody, for that three-hour stream, three-hour puzzle stream of me slowly learning the rules of a fucking card game with no rules printed. I'm going to look up that solution and see if there was something I should have noticed. Uh, but uh, as previously mentioned, uh, no stream on Friday. Uh, or no, stream on Tuesday. I'll be back on Friday night with something uh, action-y. Uh, not this. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for hanging in. <laughs>